If you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it'll be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. Everybody, it's Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you. Before we get started, I need a couple things from you. I need you to hit that like button. I need you to sub up to the channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment on today's video. Let me know your thoughts on the video and the sneaker we're about to look at today. And also, hit that notification bell if you uh, haven't did that already, so you know every time I come back with another video. Today we taking a look at a sneaker. I'm late with the video, so y'all bear with me and my apologies. It's a shoe that debuted back in 2003. As I show you a regular Nike box, you have an orange Nike box, white lettering, white Nike branding. And here is the uh, box label. I'm gonna read it out loud. It says Nike Air Max 1 PRM, which stands for premium, and the color is Summit White. Plum Eclipse, and it's a size 14, that's your boy's size. I think the retail on these was 260 US dollars. We do have a lot stamp right here, the box top blue. Uh, we got a little QC sticker right here, gold. And this size of the sticker came out, one of the shoes supposed to be in the shoe, but it's on the daggone box. Here's your tissue, smooth on one side, rough on the other, and here we go, down in here we do have a YCM sticker, green and white sticker, and that's all that comes with the box. Let's get into the sneaker. Here we go guys, we have the Air Max 1 Premium Shima Shima. Who got the keys to the Bima? Who am I? But yes, we have the Air Max 1 Shima Shima. Like I said, this is the 2023 rendition. Uh, we did have a Shima Shima pack that came out in 2003, but now they decided to bring it back and let me know your thoughts on the sneaker. Drop a comment in the section. Let me know what your first thoughts on the sneaker are. And for me, it looks like a pretty clean sneaker. I'm gonna get into uh, the review. On the upper of the sneaker, you got some leather. You have a couple different colors of gray, different shades of gray. As I look here on the quarter panels, and you got going around the heel and around your uh, molded eye that you do have some new buck in the e plum eclipse colorway going around your mud guard and on your Nike swooshes. Plum eclipse or eclipse plum, whichever it is, in new buck. Your midsole, you got your summit white midsole with uh, going around your air housing. You got a clear bubble, white inside on your air housing. And you do have a little bit of that shades of gray going around at the very bottom, which leads to the outsole, standard Air Max 1 outsole with the Plum Eclipse colorway and gray on the very bottom. Coming back to the sneaker, the upper, you have a light gray going around here. Around the ankle is lighter than the other grays, but this is a nice leather material. It's a little different leather. It's more tumble than the gray, the dark gray we have right here on the quarter panel. Look on the heel of the sneaker. You do have Nike Air branding on the back. It's embroidered on top of the gray, and the color of the embroidery is the Plum Eclipse colorway. As we make it to the medial side of the sneaker, you do have more of that Plum Eclipse colorway on your uh, Nike swoosh and it's a uh, new bug material and you have Plum Eclipse uh, new bug right here at the bottom of the heel. Plum Eclipse shows up again on your molded eyelets surrounded by gray leather, dark gray leather on your uh, quarter panel of the sneaker and you do have that light gray leather coming around from the other side which is tumbled summer white midsole going around the air housing again clear bubble and it's a plum eclipse inside i correct myself i see summer white earlier but i was wrong that summit i'm sorry that's plum eclipse 
inside of the bubble and here's a look at the toe box of the sneaker decent grain of leather give you a, a nice look at the uh, new book going around the mud guard oh comes with one set of laces the plum eclipse laces flat laces you do have a mesh tongue in a uh, a white colorway and you have a woven patch on here and you do have and right here on the woven patch which is the plum eclipse colorway is stitching with the uh, white stitching and you have some red letters in the Japanese hiragana language basically this just spells Shima that's all it says Shima in the Japanese hiragana look on the back of the tongue the stripes going on the back of the tongue and around your sock liner is that a uh, nice smooth material give you guys a look at that tongue tag and we're gonna uh, read it USI 14 production date is it looks like it says June the 22nd to Halloween oh Alright, we got about four months of production with these. Check it out. Here is your insert of the sneaker. You got this like a uh, sock type of cloth material in the plum eclipse colorway. And you do have that Japanese hiragana letters that spell Shima on the heel in red. And the bottom of the insert is basically the outsole of a Nike Air Max 1. And it does come stuffed with this tissue. There you go, guys. That's all the goodies you get with this sneaker, the Air Max 1. Shimmer, shimmer. So let me know your thoughts again on the video. Do comment on the video. And let me know your thoughts on it. It's a nice little Air Max. This is Air Max month. And, you know, Nike reaching back into their vault. Giving us some sneakers that we haven't seen in a while. So, like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.